Hey, BNN's Brittany Harlow here. I cannot talk enough about how excited I am for this symposium that we had for the first time this month, uh, Indigenous Roots Intertribal Symposium. We put it on with Osage News, BNN Oklahoma, Muskogee Media was there. We had over 100 people turn up uh, to learn more about American Indian history and how that history still impacts people today super appreciative of all of our sponsors all of our collaborators we had two amazing days of just really great inspiring educational programming uh, which feeds a real need in our state uh, for a lack of mainstream education regarding native history and its impacts uh, that it has still today uh, not to mention in case you missed it vnn donated nineteen thousand dollars to the tulsa city county library system to make 350,000, 350,000, <laughs> it's such a big number, 350,000 records of American Indian history public for the first time. Gosh, uh, I'm not a numbers person, but I really, even when I had first found how many uh, records of American Indian history through this Indian Rights Association database there were, I kept saying 35,000, but no, it's 350,000 records of American Indian history that have been privatized that's now public through the library system. Uh, so go to our app, app.verifiednews.network, search IRA collection, search Indian Rights Association, and you'll find more information about it. And you know, if you're not in the Tulsa area, if you don't live in Northeast Oklahoma, you can still join the library here and gain access to those records for a nominal fee. And so I encourage you to do that uh, and keep out on the lookout for more information about the next symposium, which we've been encouraged to bring it back next year. And I'm really looking forward to doing that already.